everyone and welcome to Board Headed Mark channel yet again or if you wish call me Mark for short. Now I know it's been a few days or actually a few weeks since I've last uh, been on YouTube uh, but I've been extremely busy at work with a lot of promotion changes, a lot of changeovers. Some of our uh, campaigns will be uh, on TV over the coming weeks. It's now May so summer is upon us although the weather says otherwise. So anyway I had a a uh, surprise parcel recently delivered to me um, from Portugal, uh, which was nice, uh, with some goodies, which consisted of some meat, some cheeses, and some sweets, and some other bits and bobs uh, for myself. Uh, I thought I'd get a review of a few of those today, uh, and some of those probably in a few other videos uh, in the next week or two. Um, as I said, I know before the, my aim was to do two to three videos a week, uh, and I haven't done one for about um, probably about two weeks. But I've been very busy, but I'll try to catch up with those because I've got a lot of content to get through. Uh, stuff is building up to review, and it's going to get a date some of it, so I've got to get a move on. So happy days, coffee again today. It is a americano with no milk because I haven't got any milk. I haven't been asked to go out and get any, so it's just a uh, americano with some sugar. Which is a good thing because I've got a couple of things to review and the coffee goes perfectly well with those. So the first thing to review is, oh yes, these biscuits. Now, these are from Portugal. Uh, they're from a supermarket called Pingo Dos. I don't know how to describe them. They're similar probably to um, a white rose, I guess. They're quite a very good supermarket in Portugal. Uh, and they do loads of stuff. They're huge. Um, these biscuits, uh, can't describe it. They're, n they're nothing like we get, get get here, really. They're sort of like a digestive, but a bit more crispier, I suppose is the word to say. Uh, and for the sake of the camera, because I actually received three packets of these really fantastic biscuits. And I, I really say with them. On my last trip to Portugal a few months ago, I bought some back. And uh, they were one. Uh, so these were sent in the nick of time. So here's some I opened earlier. Uh, as you can see, just such a nice smell. Kind of smells like a, a multi biscuit, but it's, I can't explain it. It's got a nice shape, uh, crispy. You see, a nice biscuit. Mm, really good. Really good. Mm. Now the thing is, Portugal has some amazing food, as well as beaches and places and cities, but people always go about Spain. There is nothing that Portugal, can't, Portugal cannot offer that Spain does. Um, I recommend you get, get in your asses down to Portugal and visit it. It's a fantastic, fantastic country, a fantastic city, cities everywhere. Um, I really enjoy all my visits when I go there. I mean, I should. I've lived. I lived in Spain for a, for a period of time, and I had property there, and I worked there. So, and I'd never thought about going to Portugal. And it's probably because the country doesn't seem to push itself for people to go there. One knows about oh yeah, Portugal, yeah, yeah, Algarve and Golf, but it's more to Al uh, Portugal than the Algarve and Golf. Not knocking those things, but there really is. Although the Argyle is really nice. Um, so yeah, I recommend looking to Portugal for holidays. Really good. The other thing I bought, bear with me, the packaging is a bit knackered because I have actually opened them. I really enjoy these as well. There's another favourite. These are called Bolicao. They're kind of like um, a sweet bun with a chocolate sauce in the middle. I suppose it's something similar to Nutella, but it's a bit drier. Uh, and there they are. They're called Bolleco. These are probably aimed at children more than adults, but anyone can have them. These are good with coffee or tea as well, or a little snack. Really nice. These are particularly Portuguese. These are not Spanish or anything else. They're called Bolleco. And these are for, uh, fortified with extra vitamins and iron, which is always good. 
So these have a short shelf life, but they're just about still in date. We've got a couple of days left on them. So they're still nice and soft. When, you know when they're kind of gone off the edge of hard. So the first thing smells like the, the, the kind of sweet bread. I don't know if you can see. It's quite a sort of soft bread. Uh, it's really nice. I'll punch that open. See, inside you have like a chocolate filling. Really nice. Mm. Really good. Really, really, really good. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I'm spoiling myself today. So much my diet, but I don't normally sit here and eat all these things. I'm just explaining. Bolly cow, Portuguese, fantastic. Another thing I bought, which I will be trying now, I didn't buy it actually, it was sent as I said. For my very, very good friend in Portugal. More than good friend. It's a cheese from Portugal. Now, in Portugal they do amazing cheeses. I know we do really good cheeses here in, in England or United Kingdom. But I tell you what, they have some really good cheeses out there. Like really like nice cheeses, fresh ones and hard cheeses and soft cheeses. This one here is a goat, cow and sheep's mixed cheese, which is going to be interesting to try. Uh, obviously it's in a plastic, I'm going to open it now, but I'm sure it's going to be nice. So that again, we'll be trying that, we'll be reviewing that in the ne near future. So I'm a bit out of sorts today, but um, I've, I've just been busy today. I've, I've got a headache as well. And um, yeah, otherwise I'm fine. So there we go. A few bits and bobs there. Those biscuits are really good. I can't pronounce the name of them, but they're kind of like a fiber biscuit. I think it's Bolache Com Avia. They're really good. So on top of that, uh, how have we all been? As I said, I've not been on here for a good couple of weeks. Been busy, uh, really busy at work, and lots of things going on as well outside work. But yeah, things are, are pretty good. Um, I hope that everything's good of you guys. Please like, subscribe, and give me a big thumbs up, as I always say. Please do leave some comments on my videos, yeah, or email me. I'm on Twitter, I'm on uh, Facebook, Patreon. I, I will keep saying I'm going to put the links on, and I will do at some point. Um, but, you know, you can hear me, so you can just do it for yourself. Just uh, find me somewhere, you'll find me. So please do drop me a line, leave me a comment, subscribe, press that bell button if you can't be bothered to um, subscribe as well. You get automatic automatic notifications. Yeah, man. So yeah. So please do that, guys, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.